Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel with part 2 of our tutorial about Boju and Element 3D. Now last time we left off where I added the texture for the uh, notebook and since then I have made few modifications or adjustments. So here as you can see I have added a third mask in the middle to cover the whole area. So basically I won't need the first two masks, so I guess I will just uh, delete them. Here, as you can see, I also keyframed the uh, effect opacity for the hue and saturation so that the texture we have added integrate better with the natural lighting of the video. As you can see here for the keyframes. So these were all the modifications I made. Now we are going to add uh, our element 3D effect. So I'll create a new solid. I will name it element 3D and click OK. I'll go to effect, video copilot, element. Now I'm going to go to open scene setup just strike back and navigate to the tactical fighter here I'm gonna keep it in group 1 and click OK OK after that I'm going to create a group null for the jet as you can see here I'm going to name it jet then I'm going to use the reference null from our tracking I'm going to take its position, copy it, and then paste it in the, into the null of the jet. As you can see here, I'm going to click paste, and here we have our jet in our scene. Now I'm going to adjust its rotation. and maybe scale it down a bit alright now this looks good okay after that we are going to add lights to our scene I'm going to start by an ambient light I'm going to name it here make it around 30% and white ok also I'm going to add the parallel light I'm going to make the intensity around 200 and the light color to something similar to the one in the original video maybe yellowish or orangish this is good next I'm going to the element 3d layer I'm going to activate the shadows and ambient occlusion so for shadows I'm going to use the ray traced ones and ambient occlusions here maybe increase the intensity a bit this looks good I will now switch the view and try and adjust the direction of the parallel light. I'm going to speed up here. As you can see, then I'm going to increase the intensity a bit until I find something I like. After that I'm going to link the light to the camera since actually the camera is the one moving in the track here I will do more tweaking to the light until I find something I like okay now this is this is good I think now I will uh, decrease the shadow intensity in the par parallel light settings so I'm going to open up the settings for the parallel light and I'm going to make it around maybe 
85% or 86% good maybe also I will uh, lower the intensity of the light again okay now as you can see in the video it's sort of blurry and have some grain so we will try to imitate that in the element 3d layer so I'm going to add a Gaussian blur and uh, maybe a grain effect as well I'm gonna make it the blur around 3 I'm going to add the grain effect as well let me zoom in here alright this looks good to me oh no sorry I'm going to make a in final output mode oh this looks very good to me now this looks fine to me okay so now I'm going to do a quick RAM preview so we'll activate the motion blur and let's see good this looks uh, really good to me so next I'm going to add some rotation to the jet using the jet null I will rotate the Y axis I will deactivate some effects to speed up the process alright so I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch and add an expression let's see time times 10 let me do a quick RAM preview okay this looks uh, a bit slow so I'm going to increase it to 20 and this looks much better so now I'm going to add a bend effect similar to the one you saw in the original video so I'm going to activate the bend effect or maybe the twist sorry let me check which axis to twist here alright I think I'm going to lower the resolution a bit and maybe animate the scale first so I'm going to the jet null go to the scale and animate it from zero to okay going zero here maybe a few frames before the last one I'm going to increase it so it's kind of pop up and then goes back to its natural size I'm going to ease, ease this one so right click keyframe assistant easy ease or just press F9 and then I'm going to keyframe the twist effect the same way so let me see which uh, axis I'm going to twist here hmm. no definitely not the X1 maybe the Z okay yes this is it I'm going to keyframe the Z axis I'm going to keep it this value keyframe it and go to the last frame and go in a reverse value maybe minus 30 or something like that yeah and then go to the last keyframe and make it back to zero and again I'm going to easy ease keyframe in the middle and here we have our pop-up animation as you can see here you can make it more extreme just like I did in the original video so you know the method now 
Okay, this is basically how I did the uh, original video. I think now I'm going to do some color correction. So I'm going to add a adjustment layer and uh, call it CC for color correction. I'm going to drop a curves effect and then do some basic tweaking here for the RGB channel. Maybe go to the red, drop it down a bit. Go to the blue channel, pop out maybe. Okay, and maybe add a vignette using a black solid and mask. So click the mask, double click, then invert the mask or subtract it, and increase the feathering, mask expansion. Maybe I'm going to increase the intensity of the light again. So let me see. Okay, I'm going to do a quick ramp preview. Alright, so this is the final result and with this we come to the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching and if you enjoy it, if you like what I did, please subscribe to my channel leave a comment and a like as well. Thank you for watching and see you next time.